Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So today's video is actually going to be a series review on the show What If, which is now airing on Netflix. And so I kind of want to come in here and tell you guys my thoughts on the show. Is it worth watching? And maybe we could have a discussion. And if you guys like this or want me to do more reviews on TV shows or movies, let me know in the comments and I will definitely do it, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So the show What If is about this couple named Lisa and Sean. Their relationship is pretty much put to the test when a lady named Ann enters their life because they are going through like financial hardship. We got Sean who is, he works as an EMT and now he is in training to become a firefighter. And then you have Lisa who is a scientist who feels like she has a cure for a specific type of disease. I do not remember the name of the disease. And everybody is turning down her proposal. Nobody wants to work with her when it comes to this cure. So Ant enters their life and offers them $80 million in exchange for one night with Sean. And of course, like any other woman would, Lisa gets pissed off like, bitch, the fuck you talking about? I'm not about to sell my husband to you for no dollar bill. Like, that's a no. But after going home and discussing it with Sean, they felt like, you know, it's one night and it doesn't mean anything. And they trust each other and they really need this money. So they go ahead, they meet with Ann, they sign this contract and... Lisa goes off about her evening and Sean stays the night with Anne. And so I really feel like this is really about putting your relationship to the test because Lisa and Sean is portrayed to be this perfect couple. You hear it multiple times within the show. You guys are perfect couple. You guys don't have no problems. You guys are relationship goals, you know, and this right here is what tested their relationship. And at this point, after this whole night, like Sean comes home the next day and Lisa's like, oh, are you OK? Like what happened? Blah, blah. Knowing he's not supposed to share what happened between him and Anne. Whatever happens stays in the room between them and they can't discuss it. If not. Mm. So at this point she starts to become insecure about her relationship with Sean. She sees it's a couple things. I'm going to just admit like right now, there's going to be a couple of spoilers. So if you don't want to hear any spoilers, I advise you to click off and come back later, you know, put this in the watch now list, but pretty much, um, there was like a scene where she happened to be walking by and she seen her ex. Well, there was a scene where she's seen her husband with his ex and it really pissed her off, you know, like, ugh, dang. And so she knew it had something to do with Anne because it was just funny how all of a sudden, like Sean's ex randomly appears back in his life and she just won't go away once they meet and so knowing this by lisa knowing this it was like it just really made her angrier and she became really insecure so if he wasn't saying things about it like you know meeting with his ex or where he was or what he was doing she become really annoyed and it was like he was late to dinner and she literally grabbed him and took him like to some room and was like, what happened that night? And he's like, I can't tell you. Like, you know that I can't tell you. She was like, nobody's around. She's not here. You know, my family is there, blah, blah, blah. What happened that night? And he didn't even say nothing. So it was just like, she's trying to pressure him to get this information out, but he didn't do it because it would literally cause her to lose her career. So at this point, their relationship really started to suffer a lot more and things from his past started to resurface. And that's the cost. When you sell your soul, there's always a cost and there's a price to pay when you do that. You sell your soul. So he sold his soul 
Well, they sold their soul. Well, Lisa sold her husband for some coins. And now his past is starting to resurface. And it could get him in a hell of a lot of trouble. And he gets to the point where he tries to tell her. But Lisa is like, you know, I, whatever happened in the past, we're going to let it go. Like, I love you. I trust you. This, that, and another. You know, whatever happened, I don't want to hear it. He's like, okay, fine. Let it go. But things continue to get worse and worse and worse. And guess what? When the truth comes out about his past, she is pissed off. She is mad at him for being a liar. And that's understandable because it's like, it's a lie. He didn't tell you something, but he did try to tell you, but you brushed it off. But to me, I felt like if you're married, and she even mentions in the show early on for better or for worse through rich or poor you know and they would get through all this together but it was like she was so quick to kick him to the curb because of whatever it was that happened in his past you know and because he lied about it and i'm like dang like you at least hear him out and even when she did hear him out it was like it still wasn't good enough for him and it, the whole purpose of Anne was to interfere with Lisa and Sean's relationship. You can see from Jump that Anne had it out for Sean. She was trying to get him out of the picture, to eliminate him. That's why his past started to resurface. And Lisa telling Lisa, see, like, this is why you don't need a man. Men are liars. Men are cheaters. They are backstabbers. They will stab you in the back. You don't need them. You just need yourself and you're good. And it's like at this point, Lisa is starting to really believe it. So that's pretty much the whole thing when it comes to Lisa. They're the main storyline. However, there are two additional stories in it, which I feel like both of those stories have nothing to do with with the show and I feel like even though the storylines is really good like it was wrong for this show the only one that was kind of annoying was this show has Keith Powers in it guys BTW I am only watching this well watch this because Keith Powers was in it that is it because he found like one with a snap double time triple time boy why did you find though so that was the only reason that I watched it was because Keith Powers was in it. But him and his wife scene was like a love triangle. And it reminded me and it put me in the mind frame of a Lifetime movie because of this love triangle. Y'all, it's some Lifetime shit and their little storyline. But it didn't fit in with the story. Then there was the gay couple who was the only couple that I really liked and seen some type of connection in their storyline it was interesting it was cute like yes hunty and it was just pretty much so of lisa's brother finding himself and letting go of his past and opening up it was so cute like it was so adorable but again his storyline did not fit in with the whole aspect of the show because the whole show surfaces strictly on lisa sean and ann now, I feel like this show definitely gave you like a soap opera type feel because it jumps from story to story to story, but it was like annoying and eventually it became boring. And I started to lose interest in the show around episode five and six because it was just like, it doesn't make sense. In this show, if they each scene had their own show, it would have been perfect. I feel like this show overall would have been perfect. Like a 9 out of 10, 8 out of 9 range. If it was just focusing on Lisa and Sean and this Anne character storyline. Opposed to the rest. Or they need to find some type of way to incorporate those you know, those lines, storylines into the main storyline. But other than that, no, it just didn't fit. It was a no, it didn't work whatsoever. 
So that's what I would have liked for them to do. Um, Lisa's character was really annoying. She definitely changed a lot once money came into the picture. And you start to see this early on. Her first shady ass moment was when um, her best friend, she had to fire her best friend. And she said to her friend, so how much? I would have got up and hauled off and smacked that bitch like for saying some dumb shit. Like we supposed to be besties and I was here with you when you started this. And now you up here sitting here talking about how much? Yes. And even though there was like, even though like um, they're supposed to still be friends, but like even her best friend took offense and then her best friend became mad at her like wow how dare you sit here and you throw money in my face like that so we started seeing little things and even with her husband that was another sign of her being like real a real crazy ass bitch like you mad because he lied to a, you about something now get you mad but why not sit and talk it out and get through it you know what I'm saying? You up here and leave him when he's at his worst. If it wasn't for you, he wouldn't even be involved with this lady. But you so quick to kick him to the curb. So that's what I did. And like, um, also the acting in the show was really bad. Really, really, really bad. It was just like Lisa character was overacting. And like I said, she was annoying. So it was overacting. And then the rest of them, they couldn't act at all. I was like, um, some people need to invest in some acting lessons because this is terrible. Make It's not even believable. The only real love connection that I seen was with the gay couple. And then when it came to Keith Powers and his wife, you obviously didn't see the connection there. And then when it came to Sean and Lisa's relationship, their supposed to be relationship goals, but you don't see the love connection. Like instantly I'll be like, oh, like that's so cute. Because actors, sometimes you got to get to know one another and get the feel. But you just didn't see that they really knew each other. Like they didn't look comfortable with each other. It just looked forced. So I never saw no spark or the whole relationship didn't look believable to me. But maybe that's just me. It may be different for you guys. But overall, I would rate this show about a 6 out of 10. I don't know. If there's a season 2, I don't know if I would watch it just because of the simple fact that, like, I really started to lose interest in the show at 5 or 6. And I was like, well, I already made it this far. I might as well finish the last 5 episodes. What I did like about the show, though, was I did enjoy the storylines. I did like... Anne's character because she's like so mysterious we don't really know about her where she come from who she is like nothing really about her life and so at the end it kind of a little bit about her started to unravel but I feel like I really want to see more of that so I feel like that was entertaining like just her role in general I think even like she was probably like the best actress in the whole show to me sorry and everybody saw I only watched the show because Renee was in it, but even still, she was giving me a headache in the show. I literally, y'all, I really did get a headache. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this show. Do you think it's going to be another season? What's up? And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.